Hello everyone. For our next talk, um, we'll have Moise Iancunda and Jeannie Garashi. Moise is a management information system specialist in Water and Sanitation Corporation. And he has a bachelor's degree in surveying and geomatics engineering and a master's degree in environmental economics and natural resources management. Um, Jean is a senior software developer specialized in GIS field with more than 10 years of work experience in Japan and Eastern Africa. His main interest is how GIS can collaborate with water supply management efficiently. He's also a main contributor in the translation of some QGIS documents, Q field and input to Japanese. Together, they have made the next presentation. We will stream the video that Moise made. And for the last part, um, if Moise can connect, he will be answering questions. If not, Jane will answer them. So now we will present. Thank you. Hello, I'm called Deira Hunda Moise. I'm the MI specialist in Wasake. So about the title of our presentation is the implementation of post 4 g QGIS fit tile for rural water supply management in Rwanda. Yeah, this is the general information about Rwanda. Our country is located in Central of Africa. So our capital of Rwanda is called Kigali. Uh, this is about our organizational structure of WASAC. We are having the main two, two departments, urban water and desantation services. But mainly for us, we are working in rural water and sanitation services uh, to support districts, private operator to manage the water supply systems. Yeah, what we do as rural water sanitation services, uh, just we are there for rural water and sanitation services to, for operating, to have the operation and the management unit, to have the diffuse water sanitation support. Uh, for each district, and we are supporting districts, as I said, and also we develop the guidance and the development of operation maintenance, manual for each systems, management of mass report, mapping and management of water supply systems. Uh, and also we had a project called Rasom, is one, uh, where the sponsor was the JICA. So with the map, the four model district, and also we are waiting for phase two to assume, which is about to start very soon. Why do we need the water supply system inventory? Uh, just for planning for 100% coverage of water access. Uh, for the government of Rwanda, we set what we call NST1, we have the target to reach 100% of water access by 2024, but also for SDGs uh, in the pillar six, we target to reach 100% for water access by 2030. So it's very important to know the current asset and the location of existing water facilities to support the monitoring and evaluation of the progress towards the achievement of that golden goal in subsector, also for informing the decision makers, and also it help us for proper planning, and also for improving operation and maintenance activities. GIS implementation in Wasak for phase one, we do the data collection in the Formado district, uh, with the aid of Wasom project by JICA. And then for phase two, we do the conduct the mapping for the entire country, and the data supported introducing the open source software in order to, in, to improve the data management. For phase three, we do the vector tiles implementation or web GIS, where they started the operation of vector tile as open source and open data since July 2020. For phase two, there's data correction in the whole country. The structure for data correction in phase two, 
So rural water plantation services are located in water engineers for each district to map. DEC also conduct the GIS and GPS trainings developed by GIS database. Also, uh, it takes nine months for mapping. The tools used was the Gamini GPS, and also the software was the GIS, QFID, and PostGIS. About outputs ONG and can use GIS. We have the central post GIS database. Also, we have the available inventory report available for Ethernet data, but also there's an open source for Python scripts. This is the, the roadmap for GIS activity during phase two. First of all, do we, we did data collection, as I said, there's offline access, but also there's offline data updating. After we do the data cleaning, now we do the data updating and analyzing. Yeah, this is the output of uh, mapping. This mapping in the in rural area of Rwanda as, as of the September 2021. Uh, the, for example, in water supply system, like uh, after mapping, we have the 158 as May 2019, but, but as of today, we have 1,081 because you are keep updating data because there is, there is the new water supply system which are constructed. As you can see, the household number is increasing, water kiosk, air chamber, pumping station, even the water sources. Yeah, this is the system structure of phase two. As I said, we are using the TGIS QFIELD for data collection and also the dummy GPS for data collection. And also this, the web GIS implementation was postponed because of several issues. Uh, this is our structure of our database. Uh, we are having these tables, as you can see, but for more information, you can copy this URL so that you can know more about our structure of our database in post GIS. Uh, the data collection by QGIS and QField yeah, we are having the examining and the as I said. So here what we do is we send the data to district support engineers in the district uh, through the Google Drive. Then after updating also they send us through the, through the Google Drive. Then as the MIS specialist, they can update in central geo database. This case of GIS data in phase two, here we have the offline data accessing and updating. So you see this URL, you can copy it so that you can know how the our flow, our working flow is, as I said, we send through Google Drive, they update it, then they send back to MIS specialist so, the, so that can be updated also in the central your database. Yeah, this is the data utilization in QFIT. You can scan this QR code using the smartphone to see how this data can be utilized in QFID even by using by using the smartphone. So this QFID is compatible with QGIS. It's also an open source. It can work offline and Android. Uh, automated creating inventory report. Here also we create inventory reports using the Python script. As you can see, you can copy also this URL to see how the our workflow is done. So how this 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 inventory report is help us to know uh, the status of the total supply system. Uh, even it help us to create the operation the manuals. Uh, it help us a lot to know the current. Uh, situation of each water organ in the system, and then you can plan how it can be replaced or repaired according to the age and the physical status of each water organs. Uh, but, and also we are having the modeling water distribution system using Ethernet. We are having this Q water plugin in QGIS. So after collecting those data, even we are able to produce something like modeling to see whether the water can wait, know the velocity, to know the NP control. So really by this 
by this Ethernet, there is a, a Python script where we can change direct data from the post GIS to Ethernet so that you can you can proceed with some water modeling. Modeling water distribution system, as I said, this is a Python script that can be used. And also our Python script can link the data from post GIS to both Ethernet and the TGIS plugin. And also TGIS has Qwater plugin. It is more user friendly to simulate water network, although it has only limited function. Yeah, phase three, we have the WebGIS implementation of vector tiles. What is vector tiles? Vector tile is one of the most sustainable mapping distribution methods. It is very light and fast to render map on blouse, as you can see on this on this uh, on this GIF immersion. It is flexible to change the styling of map. Operation cost is much cheaper than raster tile or other format. Yeah, also by looking at this demo of WASAC vector tile of GIS, you can scan this QR code to see how how our WebGIS is working. As you can see, we have the data supply system. And also this helps us too much when you're on the field, you can know where the pipelines are lying. You can know so the, the reservoirs and also other water organs. So it's better for field, even you can plan when you are, you are in the office without to go on the field, because we are having almost the information needed for planning purposes. Implementation of open source web GIS structure. We have this system was developed by former JK expert, as I said, together with MI specialists, developed from July August 2020. Tools, the vector tiles. Also, we have the GitHub pages, combine open source, open data in GitHub based platform to publish the system for free of charge. As output, all stakeholders can see the rural water supply network at the entire country. Automated to update vector type every week. Cost of operation and maintenance is free of charge. Uh, but of course, we have some challenges with GIS and water utilities. So as administrator, GIS can just data is ready, but still has challenges to share and utilize data within utilities about updating there is no motivation to keep updated data because no one can use the data freely uh about also do you have the limited access to gis data also there's nobody to provide some trainings and also we need high level of skills are required for using this gis for ArcGIS, there's nobody to provide some license uh, about the web gis we have a kind of poor internet connection even there is no budget to buy the server. About advantages of open source, of course, we, as was as we was the road department, we are using the open source. Uh, GIS administrator can concentrate more about the maintenance of GIS database and also update it. There's a motivation not to keep data up to date. There is flow of chat use the GitHub and also about the vector tiles, there is smooth access to WebGIS. A uh, higher GIS skills is not required. There is also possibility to use the vector tiles as open source in order utilities. As I said, uh, this WebGIS can be even accessed through the through the smartphone. As engineers can enhance distribution management as also the plumber can get detailed information before constructing without going to the field, as meter reader can make meter reading more efficient. Uh, for vector tiles also can help us for non given water reduction. For customer care can provide detailed information to client and improve customer satisfaction. For managers, there is effective future planning as well as for briefing and sharing with stakeholders like government. But also the other sectors that can benefit from this web GIS, other sectors and private company can collaborate easily. It has various possibilities and this magic effect for future development. There's also this map image exploitation features. Uh, as you can see, you can copy this URL for further information. 
but this also to help us because you can print some information or some images that can be recorded in like in a document but also when you are going on the field you can take some like images or pdf map so that you can know exactly the location where you are going to so really mapping image exploitation feature is very important for us about elevation related to futures uh, is implemented in December 2020, it lies 20 meters resolution. And also, the, this DM digital elevation model is owned by WASAC as Terrain RGB terrorist. So, this elevation, as you know, this elevation information is very important for planning purposes for water, water infrastructures. So, it helps us, like, you can trace a line and you know the starting point like water source and where you are heading to. After seeing the elevation, it is very easy to see whether the water to reach the place by this elevation information. But also this is chronic future. It helps us a lot. Uh, like in Rwanda, we have the policy says that in rural area, people have to have to have access from the water point, like in 20, 100 meters, they should be in that buffer zones. So by this ice cream features, you can you can click on water point and to see the people who is around on in buffer zone of uh, 200 from the water point. And you can see the people who are far from that water point. Then from this ice cream feature, you can plan how the other people can access to water. So synchronizing vector title as Open Africa. Open Africa is a platform to manage all open data in Africa country. It is operated by Code Africa. So, so this data, uh, people can know as SAC and the data are available on open data. But also there's a documentation of vector type creation tool. Uh, you can scan also this QR code by using your smartphone to see more about the documentation of vector type creation tool. Thank you for your attention. For more, if, if there's any question, suggestion, your flow, the flow is yours. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we can move on to a couple of questions with Jean. I don't know if. Um, Moise can hear us. Can you hear us? Yes. Can you hear me too? Yes. Yes. Great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have a question here. It says, "Does the 10 meter DEM come from satellite acquisition?" Yeah. Uh, this this DM comes from is taken by government of Rwanda by the aeroplane. It's not from the uh, satellite images. Yes, it was used for mapping the land parcel of Rwanda. Great, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, there is another one. It says, "Great talk." What was the most challenging issue encountered in this project? Uh, the most challenging issue is that the, some people, they are not using these GIS data. So they are well developed and must be used for planning and management purposes. But in the, our utility, they, they are not using these data. And another challenge is the challenge of budget. Yeah, thank you. Yes, budget it can be a, a really big challenge sometimes. Yeah. Um, it's sad, but it's true. Yeah. Uh, we have another one. Do you think that similar projects could be implemented in neighbor countries and then merge everything in one big water net? Yeah, sure, it can be done. Great. It's like um, good prospects. <laughs> Another one. Uh, you mentioned a lot of internet problems. Do you have good internet access to download and access all these softwares? 
Yeah, we don't have the strength to internet, but at least you can download some some software and the other documents. But our internet is not very good because we are still having the race fiber optics in our country. So it's not stable, but if you want, you can download slowly and eventually yes. it downloads. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you very much for answering the questions. And I'm glad that you could be here and we can hear you. Yes. I don't know how you manage, but great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll wait, I'll wait um, a couple of seconds more, minutes, if there, if we have another question. And then we can wrap up the, the talk. You are receiving some, some applauses and some love. Um, and then you list. Um, well, thanks a lot for everything, for your time, for your presentation, and we'll see each other around in the S4G. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yes, thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Do you want to add something, Jane? Yeah. It, yeah, there is no uh, comment, actually. Yeah, but yes. actually for Rwanda's WASAC, this is the uh, second host for G. And last time in Bucharest, yeah, we also conducted a similar presentation. Yeah. So maybe if there is someone here uh, watched uh, our presentation in Bucharest, maybe this might be interesting for you. Yeah. We what have... We, yeah, what we achieved yes, during these two years. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for giving us this another opportunity yeah, to present in Hosphoji conference. Our pleasure. Okay. We have one last question. Were there any issues during, um, sorry, I messed, I, messed, uh, I messed up. Were there any issues using GitHub pages with vector tiles? Uh, I think Jenny can assist. Maybe, yeah. maybe I can ask, uh, I can answer. I think generally there is no issue posting in GitHub pages, but maybe sometimes yeah, there is a limitation of GitHub pages of one gigabyte. So uh, at, in that case, maybe we can use Netlify or other hosting service. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks again and see you around. Okay, see you, thank you. Yeah, bye. See you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah bye. Bye-bye.